So it appears victory comes at a cost, and last time we played we ended up losing the uh, the legend that is ass to uh, a stupid fucking tangler of all things. A tangler. I still cannot accept that of all the things to lose a hunch crow to, we lost it to a tangler. But I guess that's just the way the world goes sometimes. Sometimes you lose to a Lugia, sometimes you lose to a Tangler. In fact, I didn't lose to a Lugia. I think I did fine to a Lugia. <laughs> it was the Tangler that was the problem. Level 70 ho -ho? Nah, that's, that's no problem. A fucking Tangler. That's, that's where the real threat kicks in. But uh, not that I'm bitter or anything. And uh, thankfully, our entire team made it through Surge unscathed. So the next stop... Unfortunately for me, is a little place called Saffron City, where we at long last need to take on Sabrina. I don't think we're in as bad a position for this as I initially thought, because I was initially thinking, I've lost my dark type against the psychic gym, right? I'm immediately on the back foot, but it's worth knowing that in my team, my four remaining you know, adequately leveled Pokemon. Obviously, Verdi's going to be of absolutely no use. But Shlomo is a psychic type. He resists psychic as a result and can hit back neutrally with Surf for pretty good damage. Brick carries Crunch. And that's going to wreck a dude. And uh, um, Shelby carries Bug Bite. So, like, we have weapons against the psychic gym. The only problem is that we have run into an Alakazam once before, right? And it didn't go particularly well. And I worry that it's going to be a hundred times worse when it's Sabrina's. My plan is to take Brick in, to stomp all the gym trainers with Brick, to get Brick as many levels as possible, because I think he's going to be our, our main weapon in this fight. Um... And just sort of test the water, see what we might be, what we might be getting up against here. And the power of all those you defeated comes to me. Okay, you're a, you're a uh, medium. You're a medium. Medium, Rebecca. <laughs> doesn't even have a ghost type. <laughs> he didn't, doesn't even have a ghost type. I hope there isn't a bronze or on Sabrina's team. I think it's unlikely, but that's the sort of Pokemon we don't want to be running into. Anything with uh, a particularly nasty type too. Uh, could potentially prove hazardous for us. I'm expecting Alakazam, right? That's sort of that's sort of a given. That's her. That's her uh, ace. That's her her face Pokemon. That's her iconic uh, Pokemon that she uses in battle. I'm not expecting a Hypno, I'm expecting um, a Mr. Mime, because she uses one of them in Gen 1. I'm trying to remember, she has three Pokemon in Gen 1, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I cannot for the life of me remember what the other one is. It's a Mr. Mime, a something, an Alakazam, right? Ooh, I actually can't remember. This guy is, uh, this guy is being what is canonically referred to as a prick. I hope uh, I can overcome this this initial hurdle of this random fucking hypno on the way to the gym leader. This isn't exactly uh, this isn't exactly boding well for the future, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, Mr. Mime and Alakazam for sure. She might only have three Pokemon. Like she might just have her Gem One team, and whatever the third Pokemon is is also there. It's not just like a Kadabra, is it? She doesn't just have two from the same line. I, I honestly can't remember. There weren't a lot of psychic types in Gen 1. I don't think she had a Hypno. I don't think she had a slow bro or a Starmie, so like... I don't know. Executor, maybe? Yeah, fucking, I don't know. I feel like she's more likely to have um, something from Gen 2 mixed up in her team. I feel like there's going to be a Gen 2 representative in there. Which I'm thinking... Um, could be a Zatu? Could be a Zatu? Um, a Giraffa Rig, possibly? Thing is, there's, uh, there's Will in this gen, right? He was one of the Elite Four. 
who's already a psychic trainer and already had a lot of the more niche psychic type, shall we say. So she might literally just lead with Mr. Mime, set up some screens, and then fucking send in the Alakazam. She might literally just have two. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not super looking forward to finding out either. I mean, I'm honestly getting a little bit, uh, not destroyed, obviously, but it, these battles against trainers with level 40 Pokemon are not going as well as they should be, let's put it that way. I don't even remember where I came in in this room now. <laughs> Can't be bothered going back and healing. Hello. I'm just sort of... I honestly don't know the route through here. I, I seem to recall it just being like, go up or down from where you are would eventually get you to the, the gym leader back in Gen 1. But there is a quicker route if you know the shortcuts and everything. I'm just, I'm just sort of wandering a bit aimlessly here. See, this is what I'm worried about. If she does lead with a Mr. Mime and it sets up Reflect, reflect and Light Screen, I'm wondering if I'm best off like trying to stall those out. Just leaving the Mr. Mime in, because Mr. Mime isn't super offensive. And I could possibly just like... I could even uh, switch in slow-mo, yawn it, and just sit and, and try and heal off damage or whatever, you know, like... I feel like that might be a sensible option. So that I don't, uh, you know, because I, I might, I might potentially, probably not, but I might be able to one shot the Alakazam with Crunch. Because they do have very low defense. But if it's got Reflect up, then that's never going to happen, right? This is horrendously rude. Who do you think you are, Execute? I noticed that in uh, in Legends Arceus, by the way. They seem to have removed sleep. It just isn't a thing anymore. Hypnosis uh, inflicts, like, drowsiness or something it's called. I can't remember exactly what the ability is called. Probably not that, because, uh, you know, drowsy is a Pokemon. But, yeah, it's some, something similar, which I can't really work out what it does. <laughs> it sure as hell doesn't doesn't make them sleep, I'll tell you that much. I don't know, mate. I, I, I haven't honestly played the game enough to be able to comment on the new mechanics, but it doesn't seem like sleep exists anymore, and I'm wondering if they've just decided to get rid of it going forward, because it's honestly just not a fun game mechanic. I don't know, I, I do quite like using it myself, um, but I can understand why, you know, especially from a competitive perspective, people might be pretty anti the concept of, of sleep. I don't think I'm even going to get a level up before I reach the gym leader here, am I? Which is really unfortunate. I know I could take the XP share off, but if I don't level up... Uh, if I don't level up Nice Boy, then I'm going to be going through the rest of the game with four Pokémon, so... I need to get XP while I can. See, we're getting sort of like... All of the, the families that exist up to this point, all of the psychic types are sort of being represented by these trainers. Nothing's jumping out at me at what Sabrina's other Pokemon was back in Gen 1. I, I genuinely can't remember. Was it like a Butterfree or a Venomoth or something? Or was it something just completely fucking random? I don't think it was a Venomoth because I know Kogra had one of them, but... Pretty certain it wasn't a ghost type. I know I could look this up, but this is sort of one thing. I know I have looked things up in the past in this game, but I I'm trying to keep, like, enemy teams a surprise because I feel like that sort of uh, gives me an unfair advantage if I know what they're going to lead with and stuff and sort of have a plan going in. I think I'd rather, rather do it blind, which I have done with every trainer thus far. I think, anyway. I can't remember. Did I look up anything in the Elite Four? I might be lying to you. I've never wanted to, <laughs> if that helps at all. Uh, 
Um, okay. I see you. Have we got all the trainers? Have we hit them all? I'm just sort of going through empty rooms now. I'm just going to keep, keep moving right or left based on where I started. I know we are going back through rooms we've already been in, but we're going like across different sections. Yeah, that does eventually get us where we need to be, and I think we have four every trainer. I'm going to nip out and go to the Poker Center. I know I could technically just Hyper Potion and Ether and stuff, but, you know, I may as well conserve a few of those. Um, and then I guess we fight Sabrina. <sighs> Genuinely terrified of this. I, I feel like this, this followed by blue, and then honestly every major battle left standing at this point all have the potential to just completely wipe us all of them her blue red um the elite four rematches all genuinely very dangerous I'm hoping red won't be too much of an issue because he's got a very like balanced team sort of thing he is a good like a good well-rounded trainer but it's not like he just has one type that could potentially stomp me into the dirt um and i might just be able to swap out into something super effective and, and take him take him more down possibly i think blue yeah blue is probably the least threatening i'm more worried about sabrina than, than i am about blue and maybe that's wrong of me i don't know we'll see wait hang on hang on hold up hold up let me go back let me go back because i'm pretty certain that room I was just in is basically at Sabrina, right? If I take this bottom right one. And then just keep following these. Am I going the wrong way? Was it meant to be the bottom left one I took? No, no, I'm, I got here. Okay, cool. <sighs> right. I'm not wild about this. But there's literally, like, short of just grinding on wild Pokemon, there's nothing else we can do right now. I knew you were coming. Three years ago I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him, or her, self-worthy. Yeah, what about the trans community, eh? What about the non-binaries? You're not thinking about them, are you, Sabrina? Since you wish it, I'll show you my psychic powers. Ooh, with a Coca-Cola background. Okay, she's got three Pokemon. They're all going to be terrifying. That's good to know. Espeon. Okay, she definitely didn't have one of them in Gen 1. But interesting addition to the team. Okay, okay. If this just wants to set up on me, then that's kind of fine. I mean, I know I will not one-shot it. It might even be a three-shot. Oh, no, it's two. It was actually very nearly one. I did more damage to this level 53 Espeon than I did to a level 46 Execute in an earlier fight. What, what is up with that? Do Executes have really high defense or something? This is good though, because this is forcing her to just chug through full restores. Like if I can just keep knocking her back into red and her AI is bad enough to just keep using full restores over and over again, that's going to take um, a real big threat off me. The Psychic will do a bit of damage because it has Calm Minded, but Brick's Brick, he'll take it. Does probably put me in kill range for the Alakazam though, because Alakazams do have criminally high special attack. I think maybe with with the leftovers, I might be in a position to survive one, but I'm not going to be happy about it. Let's put it that way. Right, the Mr. Mime's coming out. Um, I feel like it's definitely going to try and set up walls on me, which I don't want to have to deal with. I guess I'll just see what happens at this point. The Mr. Mime's not gonna do a great deal. Okay, it just mimicked. That's good. That's nice. Happy to see that. Hey, you wanna use another full restore? It'd have to be really funny if you did, because you just had a defense drop, so the next one will probably kill even if you use it. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That is good. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Miss kills, right? <laughs> Get fucked, Sabrina. 
fucking teenage witch up in my shit. Do you think that's what she was named in reference to? I can't remember when Sabrina the Teenage, teenage Witch came out. I feel, feel like that was pre-Pokemon, right? I've never really thought about that before. Okay. So I'm confident Brick can survive one attack from this fucker. I am a little bit worried it knows a fighting move. The one that always springs to mind is, um, is it Focus Blast? The, the the special fighting move that I think Alakazam can learn. I think it's Focus Blast, I might be wrong. Um, super effective special move from Alakazam might kill Brick. But we just have to hope he doesn't have that sort of move pull, right? I feel like it, Sabrina's more likely to have a more classic Alakazam move pull, right? With your sidekick and your calm mind and your recover, that sort of thing. Not the super, like, coveragey one. That might be uh, being too optimistic, but let's see what happens. I mean, it's gonna outspeed me, it's gonna hit me with something. Just have to pray it's not something that's... Okay, alright, that's... I mean, that's not ideal, but... It's a lot better than it could be, you know? And with the defense drop, he is actually in kill range now. Did you use a berry? Okay, so he's not in kill range anymore. But that's fine. Let's see what he does on the next turn. There's the sidekick, okay. That's fine. We'll take that, we've recovered enough to not... Two. We can probably take another one, right? Especially after the after the leftovers. Oh, I, I guess we just kill it. Really? One defense drop was enough to do that? I'm not complaining, but... Well, that was just nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. We literally just swept that with brick. I was sitting here fucking sweating. <laughs> I was sitting here shit in the bed over the concept of... of, of getting absolutely swept by that Alakazam and it was literally as simple as that. The, the one that random trainer near Pallet Town had was more dangerous than Sabrina's. And that's fucking stupid. What TM have you got me then? Presumably not Psychic, right? Skill Swap. That is a good, that is a useful move is Skill Swap. It's also a very, very specific move. I mean, if I know an opponent has a like, I can get rid of Levitate with that. You know what I mean? I can get rid of uh, various, like, uh, abilities that would prevent putting an enemy to sleep. Or just really broken ones, like huge power and shit. And take them for myself, which would be pretty cool. And honestly, like, Brick... His move set isn't like it's not super good. I mean, we're not touching Shlomo. Shlomo's is amazing. I could maybe have Shelby swap Protect or Spikes for it. Could even give it to Nice Boy realistically. Although Rivalry is a good ability. Chlorophyll isn't massively useful, but I've kind of I'm kind of set on keeping Verdi with the scarf because. Verdi does work with the scarf. Sorry, the specs, not the scarf. Okay. I think that is really good as well, though, is the thing. Own Tempo saved my ass a lot, but it's not super good. But then, as I say, I'm happy with his moveset. I don't know, actually. I feel like maybe Shelby would be the most useful one to have skill swap on, but he's also very slow. Which, to be fair, most of the team are. See, Protect has saved my ass a few times. I don't know if Spikes is that good. I know it's good, like, in a meta sense. Um, I don't know if it's, like... Like, I very rarely bother to set it up, because it's just, like, a little bit of chip damage, whereas most of this comes down to, like, one or two shotting opponents, and a little bit of chip damage isn't really going to help that much. Admittedly, if I had the spikes up against uh, Sabrina just there. Um, both the Espeon and Mr. Mime would have been one shot by Crunch, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot to think about. 
this whole move set building thing is, uh, is is quite a complex situation. I suppose rivalry only works when you come into battle, right? I believe that's right. You get an attack boost if you. Yeah. I don't know if it if it literally raises attack if you get sent out against a Pokemon that's the same gender, or if it's like an innate passive thing. That just if you hit an opponent the same the same gender, you do more damage. I can't actually remember how rivalry works. I'd have to play with Nice Boy a bit to see exactly how that works and whether it's worth giving him skill swap. I don't know. I think I'm thinking too much about skill swap right now. I can't fly anymore. <laughs> I just realised that. I just realised I'm currently incapable of flight. We're going to have to bring Big Bird back out then, aren't we? Big Bird might actually end up being my sixth team member at this rate, to be honest, because uh, fuck knows who else we got here. Do we have... We got Harriet over here as well. Which one uh, of the two would be a more useful team member? Harriet speed down, so probably not Harriet, honestly. And Tweety's attack down. Where was Big Bird's special attack down? Yeah, Big Bird's definitely the best of the three. Come on, Big Bird. You've actually been like one of my longest running quote unquote team members at this point, right? Been in my party an awful lot, Big Bird has. And hasn't died yet, so you know, maybe being a HM slave is the way to live. Of course, right now he's going to be my sacrificial pawn if I run into someone um, who's, who I need to get a clean swap on. So, sucks to be Big Bird at the moment, I suppose. What's up, bitch? I'm here now. If you want to battle me for real, then come to Viridian Gym. I'll be waiting for you. Can I have Rock Climb? No? Alright. I really don't know where that's going to come from. I really don't. I don't know, maybe it'll be like in Cerulean Cave? Maybe this guy will give it to me after I beat him? Is it a, is it a ground move? It, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a ground move or not, right? He's not a ground leader. He's He's like... He's got like a Lego block gym from what I remember. It's very colourful and exciting. Everyone's fully healed, right? I did do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll lead with Verdi for now then. Lowest level on the team, so might as well be getting the experience. Hope this isn't uh, this isn't too dangerous in here. What's up with you? You're a legend in the making, the floor is unstable, so you should put So you should put away your Pokemon. Now the gym leader is a guy who battled what do you mean by put away my Pokemon? Oh, as in, like, not in the ball. I get you. There's a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover, get everything you got. Couldn't you? I mean, he was champion. Only briefly, admittedly, but... Is that a hole in front of that guy? If I do this, what happens? No, it's not a hole. I don't really know what I'm looking at with the floor here. These are just ace trainers, right? So these are all going to be fucking terrifying in their own, right? Arabella. Okay, Stantler, that's going to have a psychic move. We do not keep Birdie out against that. It's definitely going to hit us with a psychic move as well, because as previously established, ace trainer, good AI. So we want to swap into something who can take a psychic move well, which is Shelby or, Sh or Shlomo. We'll bring Shlomo in. Can't go wrong with Shlomo. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that, but this works. Yeah, this fucker knows... I see. I see his plan. And that's going to do shit all to me, mate. This fucker knows psychic moves, but... Uh, he isn't a psychic type, so... You know. That happens. Probably wouldn't have one-shot if it hadn't been a crit, to be fair, but... I will happily accept that. Tauros. Tauros. Tauros is fast as fuck and has really high attack. I'm worried it might know a fighting move, so I don't know about swapping Shelby in necessarily. Although we did 
was it fighting we established was neutral against Shelby because bugs resist fighting? Is that right? Fuck it, we'll bring Shelby in. Shelby's got really high defense. I don't think anything would, a Taurus can do would one shot, so if worst case, worst, worst comes to worst, I'll just swap out. Like, oh, Intimidate. Forgot about that. That's not great. See how much damage we did. Whoa. I think that shall be fucked, right? Oh, <gasps> thank fuck. I thought Shelby was dead for sure then. Like, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's going to fire blast again, so we'll get Shlomo in to take that. Why does it know fire blast? <laughs> why the fuck does it know fire blast? Hey, dude, why the fuck do you know fire blast? What is this? What is this bullshit? Is that just a thing? It knows thunder as well. What the... What the actual shitting shitbags is, is going on here? This Taurus exists to just end Nuzlocks, right? That's the whole purpose of its being. It's to just know... I bet it knows Blizzard as well, and then like Hyper Beam or something is its final move. It's, it's literally just there to hit things really, really hard, super effectively, out of nowhere. I... You just said I was deceived. You wanna know who was deceived? It's fucking me, I was deceived. I was deceived by the Tauros. You see a Tauros, right? You're thinking, that thing's got super high physical attack. That thing could use double edge and do a bunch of physical damage. That's probably what I should prepare for. You shouldn't be thinking, oh yeah, a really powerful fire-based special move. <laughs> that's, that's not where the brain goes when you see a Tauros, you know? Jesus Christ, these ace trainers are no joke. Got at least one more of them to do as well before blue. And I am going to do them, all right? I know I could technically skip them, considering how threatening they are, but... You know, I'm, I'm sort of in it for the completion at this point. I've beaten every other trainer in the game, so why would, why would I pussy out at this point? Okay. How do we get to her? <laughs> Not like that, that's for damn sure. Like this... And then like this... just said this gym was wonderful. Not quite the word I would have used. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Would Verdi outspeed a Slowking? I feel like he should. Psychic from this thing's gonna hit hard, though. Which is definitely, again, what it's going to do. We'll let Brick deal with this, I think. Apologies if you've heard any, like, rapping or slamming noises, by the way, and... Interesting. Interesting choice. Did that actually make me faster than it? No. Okay. Yeah, um, we're having a really bad storm. This is literally since I've moved to this part of the country, we have had probably four, like, really high wind days. Like, straight up hurricanes or whatever. Um... And it's, it's so bizarre, I'm so not used to it, because, like, I, I didn't live that far away. Like, England isn't that big a country, right? But the place I lived before, I think, is because it was, like, very inland and very, like, sheltered in, in valleys and shit. Whereas where I am now is on the coast and just gets the full brunt of it. I'm just not used to wind like this. Um, but, uh, yeah, it does have a habit of completely, like, rattling the shit out of my uh, letterbox on my door. So it sounds like someone's like banging on my front door on a regular basis when the wind gets this bad. So uh, it has happened a couple times while I've been recording. I don't know if the, if the mic's picked it up or not, but it just went then. <laughs> it it has good timing at least. Licky licky. Okay, this is this is the sort of Pokemon where you're just like I have no idea what to expect. Now, this could be another Tauros situation where it just knows some fucking batshit insane moves. I know Brick's taking damage, I think I'll keep him in anyway though. Just try and Giga Impact this fucker off the field. It's level 53, like these guys are straight up gym leaders in their own right. 
Problem is, if I don't kill this, I'm stuck here for two turns. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the possibility of Brick not killing something. Which he just didn't. Like, I, I don't get the option to swap, right? Thank fuck that didn't do too much. Good. Yeah, I only get the option to... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. Because I was on quite low health, it didn't do as much damage. You don't fuck with Ring Out. It is an absurd move, it turns out. Absolutely absurd move. Can I stay in? Like, he's not done anything that dangerous, and I could probably kill it with strength at this point, right? Don't get me wrong, Earthquake's a powerful move, but it seems like Licky Licky doesn't have particularly high stats. I don't really know anything about Licky Licky. Because it's one of my least favourite Pokemon designs. And I quite like Lickitung, but Licky Licky I think is just absurd. So I've, I've never used one before. I think they're quite, like, tanky, quite bulky, but not very good at, at the damage dealing. Or at least not against Brick, they're not, I can tell you that much. Whatever. <laughs> right. Um, guess I'll bail again. This is going to be slow progress through this gym. I don't know if there's going to be any more gym trainers. I didn't see any more further up, but um, I guess it remains to be seen. Some interesting, uh, some interesting Pokemon choices thus far, right? Though it's fun to see. A lot of Pokemon you just don't run into in most run run-throughs of certain games. Obscure deep cut Pokemon, you know. And when I ran into that Clampill the other day as well, still haven't gotten over that. And what the fuck is a clam pill? <laughs> right, so it's gotta be this way. Mm. Oh, uh, th this right? I see another trainer. Okay, we're not done here yet. It seems. I'm trying to work this one out. Give me a second. Nope, not that way. Nope. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, that way. I saw the down arrow on the right and thought it was just going to send me all the way back down to the side again, but I was wrong, thankfully. Uh, this one. Okay, one more trainer by the looks of it. One more trainer. Who's in the lead at the moment? Still Verdi? Yeah, still Verdi. We'll leave it that way. How do I get there? I know I'm being dumb. He sort of puzzles the... Uh... Oh, okay, we can go this way. And then... We can get to the gym, you know? How the fuck do we get to the, the last trainer, though? Have I gone wrong somewhere? Or right, I guess. Is there even any way out of here aside from going to the gym leader? Wait, we, we can like... Oh wait, this isn't the gym leader. This is a fucking double battle. Oh shit. A double battle against ace trainers. Don't like this. Not a fan of this at all. All it takes is both of them to target one of my Pokemon and that Pokemon will go the fuck down. Oh, two very, very big hitters as well. Okay, okay. I think we need to get rid of the Porygon. So the thing is, right, Porygon is a normal type. It does, however, learn both Psychic and Electric moves, which means it has type advantages on both of my Pokémon. Looking at their team, though. I think we can kill the Azumarill if we if we just stay in, Giga Drain it, Psychic it, get that thing off the field. 
and just pray the Porygon... I mean, the Porygon is 52, it's lower level than us. It does have a special attack up and it does have a good special attack stat to begin with. But... The other option is to sleep powder the Porygon. I'm not super keen on either option. But let's just let's just believe for once, eh, shall we? Just for once. Let's just believe. Believe in the team. Because this could one-shot, realistically. I know Azumarill's bulky, but yeah, good. I'm surprised we outsped the Porygon. I thought they were relatively fast, but I guess not. Both outsped it. I don't think a psychic will kill it though. Oh, it's gone for Trick Room though, so it's going to go first this turn. Okay, I believe. Interesting. What is this fucking thing doing? Try attack me. Normal move. Maybe it doesn't have anything super effective against either of my team. I mean, that was still some fucking good damage, like, but. Yeah, that, uh, that could have been a lot worse. Honestly, if that had known Psychic, I could have been in some real fucking trouble there. <laughs> I don't know if it would have quite killed, but it would have really got dirty low, and if uh, the. The other Pokemon have got a hit in as well. That could have got real nasty. That's a lot of ifs that none of which came true, so turned out it was it was fairly plain sailing. I feel like that was like a support Porygon and they were gonna do some shenanigans. Have the Azumarill do some really nasty damage, but we just killed it before it got the chance. Which I'm all about, honestly. Go on, Shelby. You can lead it on this this final fight that we're gonna have if I can work out how the fuck to get to the lad. Oh, I see it. Wait, no I don't. Yes I do. Yes I do, this gets me right where I wanna be. No it doesn't. Yes it does. Yes it does. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you meant to get to the gym leader like, but this this was where I wanted to be for now, so I'll take it. Bonita. Okay, a spinder. This feels like a good I think these learn fighting moves, it feels like a good opportunity to test for sure whether Shelby is weak to fighting moves or not. It's gonna do nothing. Spinder isn't the most threatening, but I mean, I'm saying that now, watch it fucking sweep my team, but it has pretty low stats across the board. Why? I feel like I'm getting hints here, right? I feel like every one of these fucking trainers has known Trick Room. Is it, am I going up against the Trick Room team here? Is that what the gym leader's going to be doing? If you could just, like, stop what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't threatening at all, it was just... It's not dead. Oh, that's actually going to do a bit of damage, right? Yeah, not a lot, but... If it was any other Pokémon hitting any other Pokémon with Flail when it was on that little HP, that could have got nasty. Pseudo Wudo. We used to have one of these. Those were the days, eh? Um, I believe I resist rock moves. It might know fighting moves, though. I need to be careful of that. Should be weak to Earthquake though, so if we're lucky... No, I'm neutral. Okay, I'm neutral against Rock. Yeah, that, that adds up. Bulk's weak to it, isn't it? This is super effective though, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so it outsped me in Trick Room. That means I'm going to outspeed it now, right? Yeah. I always forget Shelby's actually, like, not the slowest thing in the world. She's not fast, but she's got acceptable speed compared to the rest of my team who are all the slowest thing in the world.
Right. And that is the gym clear, all aside from one big boss man. What time are we on? 40 minutes. We got time to do it. We got time. Ooh, I don't know what I'm in for here. I'm gonna lead Shelby because as I say, this is gonna be a varied team. I'm pretty sure. He just has like a champion style team. Um, and by leading Shelby, I can set up spikes and, you know, probably resist a lot of what he could possibly be leading with. We'll see how it goes. In fact, I don't want to lose Big Bird. <laughs> Just while we go in here. I want to keep Big Bird as a potential sick if it comes to that. So let's get rid of Bait 2. I've already got a rat attack called Death Bait as well. I've got, I had three called Bait and one called Death Bait. <laughs> I was uh, fully prepared to throw all those rat attacks away. And I still am. I still am. Their lives mean nothing to me. I have no attachment to them. I guess I guess I kind of cheated at the Nuzlocke there by just calling them all bait, right? I guess you meant to give them names that make you uh, make you care. But uh, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. I cheated. You can't stop me. This isn't how we get anywhere. I've already forgotten how to solve this this fucking dungeon. Dungeon, gym, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one's just this way, right? Yeah, and then it was just straight up. And then this one. And then... This one. Except, oh, oh, I see. I understand. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Need to do this. Hello, big boy. He blinks when you get close to him. I don't know if that's just my screen fucking up. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> No, I won't look you in the eyes. <laughs> Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? <laughs> uh, Johto's gyms are that pathetic. I don't, don't, don't talk that shit about Erica. The rest of them fuck them, but Erica, she's, she's real danger. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Alright, Blue. 416. 416. Okay, that's a good lead for me. That's a good lead for me. Hoping I'll be alright to set spikes up here. He's trick room in again. Definitely a trick room team then. Is, is spikes one that you lay multiple layers down or not? I, I can never remember. I guess I'll go for it. It shouldn't do too much. More than I would have liked. And with that special defense drop, it actually puts me in kill range, so I'm going to have to swap now. That's fine, though. That's fine. We throw bait out. We let bait go down. That's, that's a non-issue. Problem is, right, I have... What is now three and a half Pokemon to take down six of his. I'm not loving those odds. But. But. We can at least sort of pick and choose our fights a bit here. I'm hoping I'll outspeed this because of Trick Room. Yes, good. Probably won't one-shot because Executor is a bit of a tank. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. We get it in two. 
the trick room again. Oh! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Oh, you prick! Oh, that's not good at all. That's... That's one of the worst things that could have happened right now. We've got to stay in. See what this does. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage right there. Even with leftovers, it's a lot of damage. And this is going to be even more. I'm getting swept by the fucking first Pokemon. I think the run ends here, guys. I think the run ends here. Take this. I won't take a psychic, so I need to outspeed. Although with those special attack drops, maybe I can take a psychic. It's fine, I outspeed. Okay, that goes down four times super effective. It's all good. That's one. Can't believe that's only one. Arcanine. Okay, we can deal with an Arcanine. Spikes was not worth it. Could have just killed that executor in the turns I've wasted fucking spikes in. Dragon Pulse, that'll do a bit of damage. Not too much, hopefully. More than I would have liked, but not too much. We're going to be relying heavily on Shlomo and his, and his ability to self-heal for this fight, I think. got the executor out of the way, which is possibly the biggest threat this guy's likely to have for Shlomo. Remains to be seen, though. Good job, nice boy. I really should have taken the XP share off him a while ago. Hey, Toxic Spikes. Yeah, you can learn that. Sure. I, if it comes to it, I'll send him out now and have him go down to set up to Toxic Spikes, get some extra damage on these fuckers. We don't need Poison Sting. <laughs> I think we're good without Poison Sting. Right on. Okay. Okay. That works for me, honestly. We outspeed as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Clawing this back. I'm not, I'm not getting too optimistic. I'm just, you know, acknowledging that that is now three down. Thank God for slow mo is all I can say. fucking linchpin of this entire run at this point. Machamp. Okay, we can deal with that as well. Another easy one. Might have Thunder Punch or something. I don't think it'll be enough to kill. We kill it with Psychic. There it is. Called it. As long as it doesn't paralyze me with this, we should be fine. It goes down, right? Low special defense on this fucker. <gasps> this changes things. Can we take another Thunder Punch? I'm not sure we can. I'm not sure we can. He'll have a full restore though, right? He's going to full restore this turn. He's definitely going to full restore this turn, right? If he full restores, then I get a free hit on him, knocking back down into red health again. Shell Bell procs, I get some health back, I'll be in a comfortable position to survive another Thunder Punch. Fucking yes. <laughs> I 
Hey, Psychic might even crit if the gods are smiling on me right now. That'd be real nice. It'd be real nice to get a crit right now. Nah, oh, well. Can't win them all, eh? Part of me wants to slack off. I'm not sure if I get more back from slack off than I take from Thunder Punch. Fuck it, let's just... Oh, that's actually pretty, pretty clutch. He's chewing through those four restores. He's probably got three. I think all the gym leaders have had three of them. If we can make him use the third one here as well, then even better, honestly. Even fucking better. Why are you stone edging, dude? You got Thunder Punch. Because apparently a stone edge is high crit chance, to be fair, but... It's like he knew that was going to crit, right? Because otherwise Thunder Punch would have done more damage. If he wasn't certain that was going to crit. See, that puts me in a predicament now, because Shlomo was doing well up until this point. Pidgeot. Fuck. Okay. That is not what we want right now, because Shlomo is on low enough health that anything will kill it, and a Pidgeot will definitely outspeed. Rick is asleep. Shelby, to be fair, isn't weak to flying. Verdi definitely is, but is the only one with the health left to maybe take a hit. We could vi send him Verdi, go for a sleep powder, and a swap. I don't know what my other options are here. I'm not sure I have any other options. Slowmo's health is too low, like, it doesn't matter what he's fighting at this point, he can't take another hit from anything, really. I do think Shelby might be able to take the hit, but what possible benefit would that have? Shelby couldn't do shit back. We're gonna have to go for this. I do not like this. I do not like swapping a grass type in against a flying type. It's level fucking 60. Do not like. Survive it. Survive it. Survive it. Thank you. Hit. Oh, fuck. How many times have I been hit by fucking Sing and Hypnosis and shit moves that never hit with like 50% accuracy? I just want one Sleep Powder to hit a single time. And what do I get? I get jack fucking shit. Sorry, nice boy. service. I don't even know what to do now. It's just going to be four kills in a row, right? I've got nothing here. My best bet is Shlomo somehow surviving a hit, but I don't think it's going to happen.
Good night, everybody. Joe Blacktown.